It's week 37 of Zur, and I'm going to give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, Zur is actually located on IO. And we are going to mark him. He is by the Giant Scar. And we're going to find out what he has this week. On a quick note, if you guys are interested in watching a different type of Zur video, then I will put it on an annotation shown on screen right now, at the top right. Or you guys can check it out at the end of this video. Zer, what's up, dude? So like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side first. The weapon of the week is the Vigilance Wing, and it is an exotic pulse rifle. In terms of perk on this is Harsh Truths, which this weapon fires a five-round burst. When a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increase movement speed. Then we have Corkscrew Rifling, Alloy Magazine, Last Stand, which improves weapon performance and greatly increased recovery when its wielder is the last living member of the fire team. And then we have Composite Stock. And like all exotic weapons, they come with a plus five weapon attack mod. And I actually have two of uh, the, I think three, um, ornaments for this weapon. Possibly. Don't quote me on that though. Anyways. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It is great in PvE, great in PvP. I'm definitely going to give it a tier 1.5 in PvE as well as PvP because this thing is decimating like the meta right now. Between the Vigilance Wing and my wonderful trusty uh, Graviton Lance, they are the top weapons in PvP, whether it be quick play or competitive, in the meta. So go ahead and grab... The Vigilance Wing, if you guys do not already have it. The next exotic we'll be going over is the Foe Tracer for the Hunter class. This comes with 2 mobility and 1 resilience. Intrinsic perk on this is Relentless Tracker, which visually marks targeted enemies, deals more damage to low, marked, uh, low health marked enemies. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, and this comes with an Energy Bracket mod. Now. If you are a hunter and you play the quick play playlist or stuff like, um, I want to say Iron Banner, something that actually has a good tracker, then by all means go ahead and grab this. If you guys do not depend on your tracker th that much, then it's really not worth it. Um, it's an okay exotic, but I do feel that there are better ones, uh, especially uh, exotics that are spe for specific subclasses but I'm probably gonna get this mm, probably a tier 2 in PvP because knowing where those opponents are and this actually tracks on the little mini map but it also shows you on your HUD um, with an X where they actually are but I'm gonna probably give this a tier 2 in uh, PvP and probably a tier 2.5 and tier 3 in PvE because you really don't need to mark enemies in PvE because they're not that hard to find. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Kepri's Horn for the Titan class. This comes with two resilience and one recovery. And treasure perk on this is Solar Rampart, which solar damage kills recharge your barricade, which unleashes a blast of solar energy when summoned. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, and this comes with an Energy Bracket mod. Now, this is an okay um, exotic for your... Uh, I totally forgot, a <laughs> Sunbreaker, but I actually feel that the Gauntlets are a little bit better than Kepri's Horn. Um, specifically, the Gauntlets that when you throw a grenade, uh, I think, uh, throw a fusion grenade, they detonate. So I think those are a lot better... Uh, they detonate on impact, sorry. I think those are a lot better than the Kepri's Horn, in my own opinion. But other people may, you know, have their own uh, opinion on that. But this isn't a bad exotic. So I'm definitely going to give this a tier 2.5 in PvE and PvP. And it's not a bad exotic, but I do, feel, like I said, I do feel like there are better ones out there. 
Next exotic uh, we are going to go over is the Sanguine Alchemy for the Warlock. This comes with one mobility, one resilience, and two recovery. And transit perk on this is Heightened Senses, which standing in the rift grants an enhanced radar and marks high priority targets for you and your allies. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, and uh, Power uh, Munition Loader. Now, the Sanguine Alchemy works a little bit like the Foe Tracer, where it actually marks targets visually, so you will be able to see them on the map through your HUD, not through a mini-map, and not just you, but your allies can see them as well. And that's, like, amazing. So, if you are one of those people who like using a support class for your Warlock, this is definitely the class to do it with. I'm sorry, the definitely the exotic to do it with. So, in PvP, I'm probably going to give this a tier 2 right now until I start using it a little bit more and then find out if it's better. And if it is better, whenever it's sold again, then I will actually change the rank I give it. Or when I do a exotic um, review on this piece of armor, then I may change it then as well. So we're definitely going to have to uh, test this out, see how good it works, see how good everyone else likes it, and then go from there. I actually don't have one of these, so that's going to be pretty interesting. So for our consumables, we have three of coins, which once you pop it, it gives you a chance at an exotic for four hours. Then we have your five of swords, which is your Nightfall Challenge card. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which it's here. I, I just can't not do it. So I, the temptation I, is just there. And since I don't have the Sanguine Alchemy, I'm going to head and go ahead and grab it. And I know I'm totally against Faded Engram, but like I said, it's there. So you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. And I actually already have a Jade Rabbit, which is kind of interesting. Um, normally, it should just give me another exotic for the Warlock that I don't have. But I guess that means I actually have all the exotics for my Warlock. Hmm. Interesting. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.